But Int Ella Bojack, his easier details are out on the JP Twitter, and we have them translated from the Dogon subreddit. Huge shout out to Quentin. So let's just go ahead and take a look at them. I'm expecting some good things. I, I don't know. We'll see. So leader skill is extreme in types 4 key 120 or super in types 3 key 90 percent. That's in line with all the other LR's leader skills or LR leader skills. Sorry, post EZA. 12 key super attack, 30% defense for one turn, colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense. So that is, I think, different. Yeah, okay, they've just added the 30% defense for the turn. The 18 key, 30% defense again, mega colossal damage, and raises extreme class allies attack by 40% for one turn. I believe the raising of attack is the same. It is. Okay, so they've just added 30% defense for both the 12 and 18 key. Nice. Passive skill, attack and defense 150. He gets 100% attack, the more HP remaining the higher the attack. Defense 100%, the less HP, the higher the defense. Key plus one, up to five, and attack and defense 10, up to 50, per extreme class ally on the team. Okay, that's good because Bojack, one thing with Bojack is that he does kind of struggle for key if we're not using him next to STL Bojack. And let's be honest, STL Bojack has kind of aged at this point, right? But, oh wow, he changes tech keys first to rainbow. Really? He's an he's an orb changer. Changes tech keys first to rainbow if there's another space traveling warrior ally in the turn. Attack and defense fifty percent when collecting five or more key spheres. Okay, he's solid. Yeah, I I I think he's actually this is very interesting for Bojack of all units. That's very interesting. Although, it's, I think it's warranted to be expected because... Let's just take a look. I've got the Dokkan linking website up. These are Bojack's best link partners. And it's now been confirmed that we need to run him on... Oh, okay, that's links. We need to run him on uh, Space Driving Warriors, right? Let's double check. Yeah, okay. So, let's go back to this. So, let's just discount Bojack's because none of these guys are runnable. Baby's not runnable. These guys are not runnable. The only unit who's runnable here is Final from Cooler. And they share... Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, and then for Legendary Powers. So that's 55% attack and 40% defense. But now because Bojack is orb changing, he's going to generate key paths. He's also getting key up to 5, so that will help as well. So essentially, uh, I, I think even though Cooler and Bojack don't share links, it, he's fine. Now the only issue, of course, is that both units want to be in slot 2. And let's be honest, Bojack... Bojack ain't touch a cooler in terms of uh, damage, right? So you're obviously gonna be you're obviously gonna keep cooler in slot too. But I, I think what this means is that Bojack will actually be a serviceable floater, right, on the space traveling warriors team. I think he's very good. I, I, I like what they've done with him. He's not like crazy. He's not bad. I think the, the biggest downside to this guy's easy is that it didn't happen during the release of STR Bojack, right? That, that's the biggest downside for him because now STR Bojack is kind of ran out he's expired so to say so i mean that's the biggest downside for bojack but I, I like what they're doing with his kit you know it's a shame that basically this would be ideally or ideally you'd want to use this in uh slot one to gain the maximum effect like imagine if you have this in slot one you then have cooler slot two and then you have like turles or another wicked bloodline support unit in slot three it'd be absurd for lr final from cooler but again that's not possible i suppose what they could have done to change the design somewhat is give him like, basically, they could they could take out, if they wanted to, they could literally take out this, right? Take out this 100% defense, but then give him 50% damage reduction when collecting five or more keys. Because that would be interesting design. That would be definitely be interesting. But yeah, let me know what I think of Int Ally Bojack. I don't think there's anything else that we've missed. Okay, uh, there's this as well. This was in the JP news section for Dokkan. There's going to be a new Dragon Ball story event pertaining to Broly Second Coming, you know, the family Kamehameha stuff. There was actually a theory for quite a long time that due to a Videl, a free to play Videl's character assets being updated that we were going to receive a Dokkan Fest Broly relatively soon. That did not seem to be the case. It was to make way for the Dragon Ball Story revamp, which is good. So actually, JP players, make sure you get this event done because once the event resets, we'll be able to collect the stones again. So just make sure you get all the missions and all the stages done because that's just at this point double the amount of rewards. There's going to be a brand new support member as well. At this point, we have no idea what it does, but it's from when... Um, uh, if I recall correctly, it's when Gohan perceives Piccolo to save him, but it's actually Krillin in Piccolo's clothing. So, that's it. Um, yeah, 
Got no, nothing really, nothing uh, else to say, really. I suppose, like, the Intel Bojack and the Esther Bojack rotation could work in some of the early game content, maybe even some of the easier red zone stages, but... Yep, I, again, it's unfortunate, SL Bojack is no longer any good. I suppose if we are talking about this guy, he could still look good. Maybe? I'd actually have to do a show, I, I might just do a showcase, or, or I mean, I'm going to do a showcase for Intel or Bojack when he gets his easier anyway. Uh, actually, I actually have my own Bojack at 55%, I can do a private server one at 100%. But I wonder how this, how good this guy would still be at 100%, this guy, because, you know, the base form is not good enough, right? Defensively or offensively. The support is nice, but if this guy's actually getting up to like 400, 500k defense, that's still okay, right? That's that's runnable depending on how good um, Intel or Bojack stats are going to be. So, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know guys think. I think the, the main intention with Bojack is they realized that they should have easy aid him beforehand or should have released an STR Bojack. I say an STR Bojack, but they should have released him, this guy, a year later or something, but they didn't. So to compensate for that, they've designed him in a way to, to where he can be ran, I think, as a floater. And he can, he can just mesh well with the other space travel warriors. Just, and he's, he's saving grace, of course. Intel or Bojack's saving grace is that he has big bad bosses. He has legendary power and then his thirst for conquest, right? Which are all really powerful links. 25% attack and defense, 15% attack and defense, and then 15% attack. And that helps him on that space travel warriors team or Terraform Conquerors team where those links are very common. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think of Intel or Bojack. I'll catch you in the next one.